Hey, the Mad Hermit here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to build, run, and exit a Unity scene. Right now we're looking at my scene in the Scene View window, and when I say run, I'm not really talking about this, the Game View window, but if you wanted to do that, clearly you hit the Play button, and now we're looking at in the uh, Game Mode. But I'm actually talking about making a deployable, uh, shareable, executable. So to do that, we're going to go to File, Build Settings, and you're going to configure your build settings. And I actually already have the information here, so let's start again. So essentially, you're going to decide what do you want to deploy it to. Do you want it to be playable in a web interface or on the PC, as a, you know, have a standalone executable, iOS, Android, so on and so forth. We're going to do a web player, and what, uh, so this way you could play it in a web browser, and... I have to add the scenes, right? I have to tell it, what do I want to build? So I'm just going to say add current, and it's going to take my current scene and populate this up here and check it off. And then I'm going to say build and run. So now it's going to ask me, where do I want to put this? What folder do I want to put this um, web player version? And I've created a folder called export. You probably won't have that. So just you know, you know, know, right click and say uh, new folder and give it a name. And I created export before. You can make it an output folder, whatever. Select that folder, and it's going to create your web player view. Here it is. Here's the web player view, and it's in my browser. You could, you know, then take that and export the files somewhere to Dropbox or something, and then share your playable version with others. That's kind of cool. So let's do this exercise again. And I'm going to change my build settings, and I want an executable that I can run on Windows. So all I'm doing is now, instead of selecting Web Player, I'm switching to PC, Mac, and Linux standalone. I'm going to say Build and Run as well. And I'm going to say Export Test. I already actually did this before, and that's why it's you know I could change this to whatever name I want. Click Save. Yep, overwrite that. And now it's going to build it and run it. Now that it's uh, successfully built, it's going to give me this window and allow me to decide what resolution I want and what how you know what type of quality I want. I'm just going to leave it as good in 1920 by 1080. Run it, and here's my level. Now there are a couple problems with this level. Uh, this is running an executable that, again, I could share and put on someone else's computer and they can play my level, but I can't get out of it. I'm going to hit escape. Nothing. Can't get out of this. And so I'm going to show you how to solve that. The only way I can really get out of this right now is to kind of kill the application, which is not what you want to do. So I'm going to go here and close the window. That kills it. And we're going to take a quick look at how to maybe put some functionality so that the escape key does something to kill your game or close your game in a more graceful manner. So to do that, what we're going to do is um, I created a, a scripts folder. Again, I'm you know kind of using the uh, crowdsourcing, the Portalarium preferred way of, of sharing your files. So I have I put my files in Crowd, the Mad Hermit, and then I've created a scripts folder to put scripts. And I'm going to create a new script by right clicking in here and saying Create. C sharp script. And I'm going to call this game controller. You can call it anything that you like. Obviously, you should try to use something that you're going to remember. Something with meaning. And I'm going to open that up. So this is my game controller file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my code in the update field. So every time, every every frame, it's going to check the update method and it's going to do this. This little, little bit of code is what's going to help you get out. So essentially it's going to test every frame uh, if a, a, a key was pressed to down and which key? The key I provide here. I'm saying key code escape and if that's true then it's going to execute what's in this area. In that case it's going to say application quit. So that's it. I'm going to save this Go back to my IDE over here, 
and I've got this script, but the script isn't going to do anything right now. It's just it, it's instructions, but I need to do something with those instructions. I need to apply them to an object. I could just drag this on my first person controller, or what I like to do is create a new component. I'm sorry, a new game object, an empty game object. And again, I'm going to give this game object a name, something meaningful. I'm going to call it game settings and controls. I don't know. Could, anything you want. But that seems meaningful enough to me. There's my game's settings and controls. I'm going to grab it here and drop it right here since it's selected. And now my script is being applied there. And if I need to add any additional scripting, uh, I could just add it to my game settings and controls. So it's just an object, an empty object essentially. So let's try it again. Let's go to File, Build and Run. I already have my settings set up, so it's going to build the same file. I'm going to run it. So there's my playable game. And now when I want to exit, I hit Escape. And it's done. And that's how you exit out of your game. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have questions or comments, leave them below, and I'll see you next time.